So this is the example we are going to draw. Okay. So here, first, whenever you are drawing something, we have to assess what is the total dimensions and which feature we are going to use everything. You have to understand that. Okay. So here, this particular portion, the boundary can be drawn by using a rectangle. You can see here what is the length of the rectangle. What is the total length here? 70 plus 100 plus 70. This side, 50 plus 60 plus 50. Okay. The center of the rectangle and the center of the circle, it is coinciding. So you can use a center point rectangle to make it easier to draw. Okay. Similarly, this circle you can draw and this one, you can see it, this one. You have drawn an arc here. You can see the space between this one and this particular arc is equal. Okay. Space between this one and this particular arc is equal. Okay. So, how we can able to find out this particular circle arc is you can see this dimension is 20. Okay. So, from here, to here. What is this dimension? It is 50 plus 60 plus 50. Okay. So 20, 50, 60, 50. So 160, 180. So the other side, it is 20. So it will become 200. So the circle, if I complete it over here, that will have the diameter of 200. So first, let us try to draw this rectangle and this circle and this circle. Let us try to make. Okay, but actually, this arc will be different. Okay, this arc is of different. Okay, so let's try to make a dimension. So example three. Example three sketching. So let me select the front plane to draw the sketch. View normal to the sketch plane. So here, first we have to draw a rectangle. This rectangle. Okay which I'm going to draw it as a center point rectangle. So one side is 50 plus 60 plus 50. Other side is double the time 70 plus 100. Okay, this is the damage. Okay. So 160 here, 100 plus 70 plus 70, 240. Okay, so 160 and 240 is the dimensions. So let's try to draw a center point rectangle. One side is, so this side, it is 240. And the other side, it is 160. We are having a center point rectangle over here. Okay. Now, let's try to draw this particular circle, okay, which is of radius 60. This center and the rectangle center is same. Okay. So let's try to draw a circle which is of dia radius 60, okay? So diameter is 120, 120. And there is another circle, okay? So what is the another circle? You can see here, this circle and this circle is concentric, okay? So here, what you can see? This gap, it is 20, this gap, it is 20. So what is the overall length? It is 160. So here it is 20, 180. So here it is 20. So the total diametral distance is 200. Okay. So 50 plus 60 plus 50. That is a value of 160. So this height is equivalent to this height, which is over here. This gap distance is 20. So 20 here also 20. So totally the diameter is 200. 
So let's draw another circle of diameter 200. So here it came like this, but we don't want this portion of the circle and this portion of the circle. Okay. Let's try to trim it. Okay. Then this portion and this portion. Okay. So we got this particular portion of the sketch. Now, let us try to draw this arc, actually, which is a three-point arc, okay? It is not a circular portion, anything. We don't have any center, okay? So this should be a three-point arc, and the gap distance is given as 20 m, okay? So let us try to make a three-point arc, okay? So from one point, to other point, some distance over here. We don't know what is the center. Okay, so we have drawn a rough sketch. Okay, so let's try to define this end distance. It is given as 50 mm. Okay, this end distance is 50 mm. Let us define that from here to this end, which is 50. Similar way from this end to this dimension, it is 50. It is 50. At the same time, the end of the arc to this particular line, it is 20. So you can see here, this parallel distance is 20. So select the arc and select the line and if you provide the dimension this dimension is 20 we got that particular arc okay now on the other side we have to make it we have to draw on the other side okay so the other side is similar to this particular portion the other side is similar to this particular portion. And also this one is symmetrical about the center. This arc is also symmetrical about the center. Okay. So let us try to complete this portion. And let's try to mirror both with respect to the center plane. Okay. So let's draw this one, which is actually a rectangle with some fillet radius which is of 10 mm, okay. Let us try to define that. Okay, so let us try to define the rectangle here. So a rectangle, you can make it as a center point rectangle because the center of this rectangle is coinciding with this horizontal center. Okay. So you can use a center point rectangle along this line. So you can draw a rectangle. So what is the dimension of the rectangle we should see okay so here what is the length of the rectangle it is 130 so this rectangle and this rectangle is going to be same so 130 and this side it is 30 okay so here one side is 130 and the other side it is 30 okay but you have to define the center R with this dimension. Okay. So with this edge, the distance is 15 mm. Okay. So let's try to provide that dimension with this one. Okay. Dimension between this one and this one is 15. Can define it. 
So 15 is this, 30 is this, the length is 130. Okay. So now we have the fillet at each corner, which is of radius 10. Okay. So let us try to define the fillet. So this is a fillet, sketch fillet. Select one corner. First, you define the radius. Okay. So you change this value by double clicking it. Change it as 10. And click on other corners to apply. So once you have applied for all the corners, you can see the mouse cursor is with the green tick mark for the left mouse button. So click on the left mouse button to confirm. So now we got the sketch. Okay. Now this portion and this portion I want to mirror with respect to the center plane. Okay. So let's try to mirror it. Mirror. The mirror line is this. And entities to be mirrored is select the boundary. So it will be mirrored. Then select this one. So that will be mirrored. Okay. Now, can you find out any difference between this one and this one? One thing I have missed out. Can you able, can you able to tell what is that? Anyone? So here one portion during the mirror we have missed out we have to trim it which one we missed out to trim can you identify that okay you can see here this portion yes circle actually not it's not a circle okay so this portion we have missed out which we need to trim okay so that portion we have missed out to trim okay so let us trim this portion and this portion okay so this line is just for the representation of the dimensions that's why the line is there okay so this is not the actual dimension actual line feature line okay so it is like a dimension line over here okay. so we have completed our sketch so this is our sketch so let's try to confirm okay you can see here that line is not visible now 